there ain't no stopping us Fly without boarding pass Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast Call me a shooting star Good morning guys, it is Thursday, September the 14th Back here to pick up my colleague, we're off to meetings now last night I told the light runner just to charge to 90% because that's going to be plenty. I've got a day uh, day here in Edmonton driving around and uh, I think that gives me like 370 odd kilometers which is more than enough. So back home in Calgary, Tammy's going on a road trip. She's uh, heading to the town of Vulcan, Alberta which is a good hour drive and then she might even go further to visit her parents in uh, small town about a half an hour out of there so um, when I called her last night Cora wasn't even plugged in charging so um, she got plugged in she's got enough range now to make it all the way there and back I'm gonna ask her to get some video for us of the trip middle of the afternoon and I am just in between meetings got a couple of minutes I'm gonna pit stop at the uh, <coughs> Simmons store at the London Dairy Mall and check out that L3 charger over here it'll be my <coughs> first time charging the light runner on a Chatamo level 3 adapter pretty excited I got the flow app ready to go and we'll see uh, see what happens So excited, first time for everything. I am charging the Light Runner from the L3 at London Dairy Mall via my Chatamo adapter that we've had now for two and a half years. I finally have a chance to use it. I'm here in Edmonton at the Simmons store. I'm using the Flow app to uh, activate the uh, flow of electricity into the car. And it is a pretty decent charge. So I uh, got the kids off to school this morning because Mike's in Edmonton and uh, now I have a multiple stop trip to do this morning. So I've got, uh, I'm probably going to charge in a couple places. I have 300 kilometers remaining on the uh, battery. I couldn't quite charge to full. I didn't have time last night um, overnight because I let my battery run down a little bit more than I should have. Sorry Mike. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've got 300 on my trip here. I've got to go 63 kilometers, but it's 63 one way. And so that's going to be about 126. And then I've got another 45, 90 kilometers to add on to that. So I probably have to charge when I stop in Vulcan. And then I'm going to try to charge in Lomond because my brother just installed like a 50 amp plug is awesome thank you very much Barry so check out this Cora milestone in one year and two months we are going to turn over 35,000 kilometers it's incredible I love this car so that's pretty exciting 35,000 kilometers um, a lot of that is city driving because I, I figured it out. I, I do about 50 kilometers a day just driving kids to and from school in the city, which is crazy. But one thing that's really cool to think about, I was just doing the math kind of as I was driving here, that means that Mike and I have done about 235,000 kilometers electric since we've got our leaf um, back five and a half years ago. Uh, which is pretty incredible. 235,000 kilometers. And I know Matt, Mike will do the math uh, to figure out how many miles that is, but um, it's pretty awesome. Put my adapter on. Flip the switch. Open the charge port. And plug it in. And there we go. Charging in Vulcan, Alberta. At the Vulcan Business Development Society. And this one's a 32 amp charger, so I'll get about 32, 40 kilometers an hour. Every little bit will help on this trip. Well, I was here much longer than I expected, but on the bright side, my car should be charged. <laughs> yeah, I've got enough charge now to go wherever I need to go. No worries at all. And the cool thing about charging at the Vulcan Business Development Center is 
that your charge is done off this lovely solar panel array. So it was all done by solar. Isn't that cool? It's a good day when you can charge 100% by solar. Thank you very much, Vulcan Business Development Society. So I'm getting 110 amps at uh, 392 volts. That's pretty decent. 249 kilometers an hour, so yeah, baby. So there's what I'm, there's what we're getting in. Uh, 110 amps at 390 odd volts, which translates to 246 kilometers per hour. So um, 25 minutes to get up to 90%. That's really impressive because uh, you could pop into the store and uh, which is what I'm gonna do I need some socks pop in do some shopping and get yourself on your way and have actually a decent charge in your car now this is a Tesla I've got an 85 kilowatt hour battery if I was here in our leaf which has a 24 kilowatt hour battery I think I'd need maximum like 20 minutes it'd be in and out and I'd have a decent charge to continue on my way very nice thank you Simmons store and Londonderry Mall loving this setup come to Calgary set one up in Calgary please set one up in Calgary this is great Well, that's pretty cool in uh, 25 minutes I've picked up just about 80 kilometers of range 40 miles and change it's pretty decent the really impressive thing that blows my mind is that this charge today totally solar powered the energy that uh, was put into my battery came from the Sun it's a solar powered Tesla right there that's pretty cool that's actually unbelievable yeah I'm going for supper sushi all right guys back in the room it is 6 10 p.m. finished off supper I think I'm just gonna relax catch up on some emails get a little bit of work done and just take it easy pretty excited about today because I got to charge off the Sun at London Dairy Mall the L3 there Tammy got to charge off the Sun too in Vulcan Alberta uh, there's a big solar install there and then that feeds the charger so pretty cool really cool one day we'll have solar on our house too just not yet. We're saving up. Okay. Thursday night. Thursday's over. We'll see you guys on Friday. Micer out. I said I'm moving too far.